shout to all the U.S. military veterans in the audience for this edition of Overdrive Radio for November 11th, 2022, Veterans Day, of course. And we're going to get a bit of a look at how the nation and the trucking business remains a bulwark for opportunity, no doubt in part attributable to service members' many sacrifices through the decades gone by. We'll hear today from Slava Sobechi, co-owner of the Chicago-area-based Taurus Auto Group Car Hall Fleet, and who I wrote about as part of a package of stories out just yesterday at OverdriveOnline.com. There, Overdrive News Editor Matt Cole and I dug into a few relative newcomers to the Transportation Management System software platform space, and specifically, such systems commonly known by the TMS acronym, such systems that are increasingly geared toward, well, you. That is, owner-operators and other small fleets. As the TMS market has matured through the years, such technology is no longer just the province of large motor carriers. In the stories at the website, you'll find close looks at how One Truck TB Trucking and its owners Troy and Heather Baumgartner utilize the Lynx TMS, Three Truck Shipping Teleporters, the new command system from Trucker Path, and the Ship.Cars platform. Our now almost 100 truck Taurus Auto Group has found greater back office and in the field efficiency with car haul specific and free to use carrier TMS ship cars offers. I'm Todd Dills and owner Slava Sobechi didn't just hop right into trucking in the back office though. He got his start in trucking like so many do, behind the wheel. Sobechi, in case you're wondering, is a Polish last name, but I'm, I was born in uh, Moldova. How long have you been here in the States? Uh, been here since 2006. It's been a while. Yeah, why'd you Why'd you uh, come Come here? What was the motivation? I guess to be part of the best country in the world. <laughs> <laughs> were, you know? were you in, Were you in transport uh, uh, before you came here? <clears throat> no, sir. No, I was a student when I I was okay. very young. I was uh, like 19 when I got in the states. Okay. So it was my second year in uh, university. And I quit. I came here for a student uh, exchange work and travel <clears throat> program uh, in 2006. And I uh, uh, stayed here for the summer for three, four months. And then I, you know, I just fell in love and I decided to stay. I, I never want to come back, go back. Right, right. I will. I, I was, you know, I missed the, some part of the my country back home. But, you know, um, most of like everything uh and the most it's here it's yeah. you know opportunities work um uh, good normal life and uh, all the good uh, good things about the country you already know so no i was not in the trucking i started in 2006 in 2008 uh, i got my cdl license i went to school so i had to um, I had to study a little bit, you know, to get my CDL license. Once I got it, I started driving as a, you know, a semi truck, a dry van. I did that for a year probably. Then I bought my first truck. I become a, a independent contractor, subcontractor with the with the company, and uh, yeah. I start uh, working like that. Then I I did uh, for a while. I was doing dry van, then a reefer, then. Uh, um, I start. Uh, um, I started uh, doing car hauling, uh, hauling cars in 2011. Most of the trucks in the Taurus Auto Group fleet today are owner-operated, so bet you noted too, sending 10% of the load back to the company. He said, "The whole rate uh, goes to without. We just keep the percentage for right. the um, uh, service we provide. So, yeah. let's say." Uh, uh, the customer paid a hundred bucks. We keep ten uh, percent, and he gets yeah. the ninety percent because he supports most of the expenses um, as uh, fuel, you know, tolls yeah. and all kind of expenses um, uh, that the a truck can 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 make. Most are hot shots, but some owners run stingers or other car haul capable trailers with larger trucks. As you'll hear in today's talk with Sobechi about the utility he's found with the Ship.Cars platform which grew into its own out of an in-house project of the Montway Auto Transport Broker. We'll dive back into more of his history with Car Hall right after this quick break for a word from Overdrive Radio's sponsor. With winter fast approaching, it's time to prepare yourself for the conditions that lie ahead. 
By adding housed diesel treat at every fill-up, you can prevent your diesel fuel from gelling in even the coldest temperatures. While it safely removes water, adds lubricity, and prevents deposits, the nation's number one anti-gel will help protect your engine and provide you with the added power you crave. Backed by the only no-tow guarantee, House Diesel Treat will keep you rolling no matter what weather comes your way. Learn more at houseproducts.com. House. Tested. Trusted. Guaranteed. That's House. H-O-W-E-S. Houseproducts.com. And if you'd like to try House Diesel Treat Anti-Gel Formula or its Gelling Rescue Lifeline Treatment, dial the Overdrive Radio Podcast line and leave us a message via 615-852-8530. We'll be back in touch for your shipping information for a prize pack featuring much more than just the Diesel Treat and Lifeline formulas. That's 615-852-8530. Here's Slava Sobeci setting up his journey through transportation to Taurus Auto Group after that first taste of car hauling in 2011. Yes, uh, I was was a driver back then in 2011. Then I I learned the job. I, uh, you know, I gained some money and uh, I decided that I want to buy, purchase equipment. I bought the truck. Then I I bought the second truck, then the third. Then when I got my third truck, I opened Taurus Auto Group in 2014. Okay. So I started. Uh, I started working um, uh, under my own own authority, and you know, um, trying yep. to uh, lead my own path. You know, yep. uh, so here I am today. Uh, we uh, we run uh, over a hundred units in the company right now. Um, uh, okay. I have a partner. Uh, we are two guys here, and uh, we combined uh, two companies back in 2016, I believe. So, yeah, we we okay. We're doing uh, pretty, I would say, pretty pretty good. You know, it's not a easy uh, job. It's not an easy business. It's always you know a challenge and uh, a lot of situations um, <clears throat> out of our control. You know, working with yeah. the people at the distance is not easy, especially when they deal with the you know properties, people's uh, cars and stuff. They, uh, some of them are good, some of them are not really good, you know, they make mistakes and those mistakes cost us money and, uh, you know, reputation. So we always try to stay on the top and uh, have everything under control and, you know, satisfy our vendors and customers all the time. Yeah, I mean, are you guys running um, uh, big class eight trucks with, uh, you know, with big open car haulers, enclosed car haulers, smaller trucks? What what do you, what's We have all of them. We, we have we have all kinds. Uh, most of them are uh, hot shots, like the three car carrier. They okay. are simple. Uh, they are not required the CDL license. Yeah. Uh, it's easier to to work. Uh, less um, risks, I would say, probably. Uh, you know, especially from C to C customer to customer locations, relocations, or maybe. You know residential areas uh if that's uh yeah uh, much easier to say so um yeah in those areas it's easier to operate and um, you know work with the pickup truck uh than with the semi truck uh, especially with the stingers which is the most the biggest one in yeah. uh in the industry those are hard to drive in residential areas and especially uh locations like you know downtowns major cities of uh, you know in united states so that's not easy at all pickup trucks are easier so most of them are those but we have um we have what uh, we call the the liners the the bigger one that goes states to state to state and the longer distance and people who actually has the cel license you know, mm-hmm. and they uh, they are uh, qualified to operate those uh, that kind of equipment. Uh, for those who don't, they just drive uh, pickup trucks, and think you know it's it's not bad. Um, people are happy; they still making money, and uh, you know, uh, as long as we have work and jobs, and uh, Sheep Dot Cars is going to provide us with the best uh, uh, platform and tools um, to work with. You know. We're more than happy, you know. We have yeah. all the experience, you know, for years to, um, and we know what we're doing. 
So yeah. I hope I hope we you know continue that way and growing and you know make this uh, industry easier and uh, more accessible for uh, regular and a- anybody in the country who needs uh, transportation needs. As mentioned up top and as he referenced there, we were talking attendant to mine and Overdrive News Editor Matt Cole's roundup of a few relative newcomers among service providers tailoring TMS software and platforms to small fleets. In Sobechi's case, that's the car haul focused carrier TMS of Ship.Cars, which launched just a few years back and has expanded into a big full service platform, including a freight marketplace for loads. The free to use cloud-based carrier TMS was among its very first offerings though. Taurus Auto Group was about half the size of where it is today when Sobechi first learned of the Ship.Cars platform, then just the software development project of the large Montway Auto Transport Logistics Company. Uh, so I know about this uh, platform and the project um, uh, when it was in a process of, you know, uh, getting uh, big and uh, uh, available to public. I actually even had an opportunity to invest in this platform and I uh, couldn't okay. do it. Um, just, you know, um, financially it was not uh, the right time for me to to do that. But um, it's been, I would say, probably four or five years okay. uh, since we, you know, started like using this platform more and more. And uh, today we, I would say uh, most of the uh, loads and uh, most of the, the job we, we getting, uh, we using uh, this platform. It's okay. one of the most logical, uh, from our point of view, uh, most logical platform uh, used daily in the car hauling industry. Uh, the platform has all the useful uh, features uh, a carrier can ask for, such as, you know, the, the advanced and the well-developed uh, load board, uh, which allows you to find cars be to, based on uh, different filters. Uh, it also allows you to negotiate directly on the platform and place a bid. Uh, for a specific amount without spending too much time on the phone, you know, which yeah. is very like uh, comfortable and uh, <clears throat> amazing, you know, comparing to all those old old times <clears throat> back in the day when you had to try to get a hold of the broker or the vendor and uh, they didn't pick up, they busy on the other line and they are at the, uh, I don't know, in a bathroom, taking lunch, whatever. <laughs> right, so, right, right. so now it's everything is automatically, it's easy. Uh, <clears throat> you send a request, you can negotiate. Um, Ship.cars carrier TMS is a, a car dispatch software that uh, efficiently uh, organizes uh, orders and you can see directly on the platform which, which loads you have just assigned which are uh, in route and uh, which ones have been delivered, you know? So everything is uh, automatically visualized live you know, on, on the platform. So yeah. all, the, all the parts uh, uh, involved uh, in the move uh, have that share on the platform and they can have access to any information anytime 24-7, yeah. uh, which is amazing again, because that makes... Uh, our communication between the customer, the vendor, and the uh, carrier, uh, transparent, you know, easy. Uh, I mean, available right. anytime, anywhere. You right. don't have to be in, uh, you know, in front of the computer home. You can access it from the phone, from a tablet, you know, right. laptop, anything. So advanced dashboard allows you to see which payments uh, have been made and which uh, ones are uh, pending, you know. Uh, it enables a complete view of uh, all uh, transactions directly from the platform. Uh, features include uh, invoice organization <clears throat> uh, and <clears throat> automatic updates for uh, shippers. That means right. that, means that uh, <clears throat> even the accounting department uh, has a peace of mind, you know, there and uh, they uh, uh, can operate this platform easily. They can access um, uh, all the information they need uh, for uh, uh, to send an invoice, to receive a payment, to check the status of a payment or, you know, anything like that. So 
the, it's amazing that this uh, platform combines all the departments as affiliated or associated with with the, any move anytime. So okay. everybody uses it. Down to the driver, the, of course, right? We, yeah. I, of course, and and the, of course, uh, and the driver uses the most um, hauling cars, you know, uh, uh, especially from ship that cars. A big part of the auto haul process for drivers and owner operators has been the vehicle inspection at pickup and delivery to document damages in order to ward off false cargo claims. Ship.cars and platforms like it digitize the process effectively, utilizing smartphones, camera capabilities, and the operator app. The driver's job makes it much easier because now you don't use the, those papers, uh, old school uh, uh, style, you know, uh, uh, let's say it's raining, it's snowing, uh, you get wet, the pen gets wet, the paper gets wet, you can mark, uh, marks are not visible. Um, yeah all kind of crap you know it's, it was just it was just very um very hard and uh, inconvenient you know you uncomf yeah. uncomfortable uh, uncomfortable uh before to use um, uh, those old uh, old type of um yeah pools uh now sure. this is this is easy it's one two three you log in you take a picture yeah the customer signs it on a, on a screen you go to go yeah, you know, yeah. hassle-free, no fake claims. Um, of course, it all depends on a driver how well he's educated and he knows the the, the application. Because yeah. some <clears throat> some we had, of course, situations uh, when uh, drivers didn't didn't know how to use the you know everything yeah. and tools they they just make mistakes and uh they pay for mistakes uh, but the tool works perfectly if you know yeah. it if you understand it it's just uh, amazing how how easy and how simple everything is yeah when you think back um you know in your early days when you were just starting to <clears throat> add a truck here add a truck there um could you have used something like this at that point um, when you were just, you know, three trucks, four trucks? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I don't think it. Does, I I don't think it makes uh, any difference if you're small or big. I think you need it because you do the same type of job. You 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 do the same type of service. Yeah. Uh, when you do the same type of service, it doesn't matter. You do a thousand times a day or you do it ten times a day. You still need it because it's a great yeah. product. And it doesn't cost you much because before we used to pay, um, you know, creating this uh, bill wells and the uh, inspection sheets uh, with the uh, with the just um, skeleton skeleton of the car, right? And just you know use that skeleton as a mark uh, damages yep. on the vehicle. So for those papers, for those sheets, we used to pay. I would spend probably somewhere between. Five hundred and eight hundred dollars a month, and we had only like what ten trucks back then. All my drivers and everybody now is addicted to it. They don't <laughs> want to change it. They they don't want to you know do something yeah. else or use something else. So for other loads, I mean other loads that, that originate outside of their load platform, is it um, does it does it have utility there? I'm I'm assuming you create a create an order um you just have to manually input some of that information yeah, it yeah, comes yeah, from correct. outside yeah. yes that's that's yeah. true that's correct so yeah but so when you guys started with them i'm gonna, I'm gonna take a guess that that was maybe <clears throat> shortly after you combined with the other company that you were mentioning like having having the tools available uh through them had it did it alleviate some pressures maybe you were under in terms of organization uh in the office and did it help you grow you know did it free up more time to kind of focus on other aspects of the business i mean what how did the evolution of of taurus uh um sort of follow along your uh the evolution of ship cars yeah well from 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 the beginning um things weren't very clear and very uh perfect yeah. You know, we yeah, had you were trying them out. Yeah, you were trying right. it out with them. Yeah, we, 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 we were trying to, uh, you know, and we we used to work with the other platforms. Um, uh, and those were out earlier than ship.cars. Um, they were available to uh, to public to businesses uh, like us uh, before um, ship.cars. So we were kind of comfortable already with those 
but in the same time we were trying to help uh you know understand them and help them with the you know based on our uh, based on our experience to provide some kind of feedback which is going to you know uh improve their platform as well and you know you know uh bring that value um on the table so they can understand the mind uh yeah. of what we're dealing with what kind of issues what kind of situations we facing and what we would like to see uh in this on this platform uh what to eliminate what to add uh, yeah. as an option you know so we had conversation about this a few times but uh we could we did not accept it from the beginning because it would be a big uh, change for us uh you know educating training all the people uh, for yeah. a new type of platform new time uh, type of uh, tms uh it would be a, a big job you know a hard work you know and uh, um, would take time so we didn't want to do that before we see really uh the potential you know uh, perfect benefits yes uh, yeah. from from you know from this platform and how big were you guys at that point when you when you were just uh, starting with i think we were probably half uh the size okay um maybe i would say i don't know maybe up to 50 trucks okay. uh back then so we so you already you already had a lot of organization going on that you had you, you yeah, had systems yeah. in place to do that already exactly yeah, yeah. yeah of course yeah so yeah. it wasn't easy for us to jump from from yeah. one to another and just you know uh wait for the for the best time or for the time when this platform is going to be uh polished and you know brought to the uh, to the what we see today you know we little by little we started using it you know uh, uh like you know maybe at 10 15 20 percent uh, of the cap uh, capacity you know uh, talking to them uh trying you know uh, bring them you know all feedbacks um and that worked you know during the years during the you know some period of time um it took uh, a couple years it's all about um having loads this business is about money yeah. and uh, uh and experience so we are not focusing or on on uh, on on the project like uh ship that cars but we are focusing on uh uh companies like ship that cars who can uh bring us uh the value the business uh, the well paid loads and of course all these uh, amazing tools uh, that can make our life uh, easier. Well, this is not an e easy industry, and it's a lot of, you know, cliches in uh, in the in the work day day to day business. You know, yeah. we we can get caught, you know, in a, in a fake claims. Uh, we can have we can uh, wait for the payments and the process of uh, turning the payment in. Uh, for weeks or months um, using the platform it's instant it's very quick it's right away um, so this this really makes our you know uh, life easier and uh, yeah. much much better from all point of views for the many owner operators leased there too Sabeci noted there's plenty more coming in the way of assistance at the vehicle inspection level during the pickup and delivery process Developers at Ship.Cars told me about their so-called AI damage inspection, which like their basic vehicle inspection utility described earlier, uses smartphones, cameras, capabilities, but adds a processing layer within the operator app to automatically flag potential defects. I asked Slava Sobeci about it. Have you used that uh, that tool that they mentioned to me, which is a, um, uh, you know, you take a picture of the car uh, as you're doing the inspection and it sort of automatically detects damage they said they were they were starting to roll this out but they've I, gotten some decent feedback on it me personally i haven't i haven't tested okay. i haven't used it uh, i i saw it i experienced it when it was in um in an earlier um, version uh okay. and was not perf working perfectly okay then i said uh, this needs to be you know uh uh, brought to the better condition better you know 
yeah. uh, higher, uh, I would say, quality. Uh, yeah. It would detect some dirt and consider it as a damage, you know. <laughs> right, right. So probably uh, a shadow uh, would consider it as a damage, you know. It wasn't perfect. Today I heard it works very well. Um, I haven't used it because I'm not doing this daily uh, in my yeah. daily basis. I'm not uh, hauling cars. I'm not uh, yeah. using the tool. I, it's not necessary for me. So Are the operators <clears throat> using it at all? Of course, uh, they, yeah, mo they most are. of them. Yeah, most of them. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, if it's automatically and it works perfect, I uh, it, they can manually then then manually they can add or. Uh, yeah. Uh, delete uh, any yeah. any anything they they don't like or they would like to add. So um, it's amazing, man. I'm telling you, it's like it's like uh, flying on the moon these days. You know, <laughs> it's something something similar. As noted, you can find three close looks at relative newcomers to the small fleet and owner operator focused TMS space, with profiles of just how carriers are using them to affect. Out this week at OverdriveOnline.com. Package of Stories was published just yesterday, November 10th. If you're hearing this later, search Transportation System Management Platforms at OverdriveOnline.com. Here's a big thanks to Sebechi for his time. And again, here's a big shout to all the veterans in the audience. I'm sure Sebechi would say the same, considering his motivation for immigrating here a decade and a half ago. To be part of the best country in the world. Overdrive Radio is a production of Overdrive, the voice of the American trucker. It's edited and produced by me, Todd Dills, with the acoustic guitar and other support of trucker songwriter and Overdrive contributor Long Haul Paul Marhofer. The theme is Legend of the Snake Man by Marhofer, featuring the guitar work of Travis, the Snake Man himself, Lemmick, Terry Two Socks Richardson on bass, keys by Tisha Mingo Jim Whitehead, and on drums, Mr. Andrew Marshall. The podcast is backed up further by Overdrive's own news editor, Matt Cole, social media coordinator, Holly Young, executive editor, Alex Lockie, and video editors, Lawson Rudisell and Mr. Andrew Gwynn. We'll see you next time.